Greetings everyone, BJ Weller back with you for our Stronghold Kingdoms streaming adventures today. I'm uh, going to try to focus a lot more on USA 2 today because um, I've neglected that for the last couple of weeks and there are things I do need and want to get done in that world, but I do want to get caught up a little bit here on um, Island Warfare first. It is day 397 Island Warfare and we got a small cheese hall. 1400 cheese added to our granary with our free card today. Uh, what I do want to do is go take that out. Whilst I'm here. So there is a lot to go through here, but uh, we'll see if I can uh, minimize some of the some of the semi-redundant stuff here. Stop. You will go in your chair. I'm not going in my chair. Then you need to stop, okay? We can't have any more of this fooling around. I don't have time. Don't. Do. You. Do. things to get caught up from, uh... We had some issues going on here. Um... With some of our... Okay, come on. Chair. I'm but not going to my high chair. Then you stay right here and I'm stay out of my way. Uh, I'm going on with some of the rogues here in the world. The war is now officially over uh, between House 11 and House 17. Uh, as you can see, House uh, 17 predominant here. Um, not until we get down to the provincial level here do we see some of the other houses uh, controlling some of these territories. Um, a lot of uh, House 11, my former faction mates and all that, are now uh, joined in with House um, 17. But there are a few who uh, did not want to have peace, uh, so they've more or less gone rogue. Uh, we've marked a couple of them here. Yomanoka was the one in our parish, and Mad Maddox was another one causing problems for House 17. Um, I know there are a few more in our Discord channel for House uh, for the faction in the house here uh, that listed some of the troublemakers or some of the guys causing trouble for house 17 uh, which we will eventually add on our list uh, but that's pretty much the state there obviously house 17 has been dominate dominating for the the whole year at this point uh, we're a year and a month into this world um, so house 17 uh, the dominant now of course uh, there were some uh, other houses who did have control of the island uh, briefly in the first couple of months here. Um, hence why I was actually able to complete as much as you can complete the uh, King's Kin um, achievement here. Unfortunately, there's only one country, so uh, King's Kin Gold, be a member of a house that controls a country. Next level, which would be Diamond, would be be a member of a house that controls more than one country um, unfortunately there is only one country to control here so that's as far as you can go with the achievement so I, I, I did mention that uh, before there's meaning devils hey how's it going our, our uh, house house marshal yeah house marshal has meaning devils good to see you there my friend but yeah so that that was one of the things that sort of um, bothered me about uh, you know, island warfare and then some of those little niggling things that uh, you know you find imperfect with a game that you know you can't actually complete that achievement uh, achievement uh, on a world such as this so you wonder you know why not just have the uh, oh Pedro there's Pedro so we will we will because uh, I just noticed this in discord that Pedro was back rightly enough as soon as we drop him from the faction because uh, I did discuss a couple of guys that we finally dropped all those zero um, zero village uh, people who uh, were in the faction that I, I've mentioned over the course of the last few episodes that we've done here um, with that little glitch about uh, having those people in the faction and not actually dropping even though they had zero villages uh, finally decided to get them out because we are we have grown now as a faction thanks to Megan in part I mentioned this in uh, Earlier today in my other stream, but uh Megan really the the force behind the knots Knights Hospitler here. I'm more or less just the figurehead 
Megan's doing all the legwork. So I definitely appreciate that. And it was good to see Megan this morning as well in chat for our uh, Davillion stream. But yeah, so that's where it's at there. So let me pop in there because we, we definitely want to, because uh, uh, as you've seen uh, our very early episodes on when uh, Pedro bye was here. Bye. Uh, bye bye. And we had moved down here to Lapu Lapu. No, it's not bye bye time yet. Just started. It's not bye bye time yet. Okay, okay. Uh, Pedro was. Uh, where's Pedro at? We will accept Pedro back in there. Uh, Pedro uh, helped us out a bit. There he is. A good friend to us, so we will definitely take Pedro uh, back in here. To the faction. So welcome back, Pedro. Good to see you again, my friend. So welcome, Pedro. And we've got quite a few. I've got quite a few announcements here to go through, so let me get that out of the way. So, of course, we've got Pedro back. Good to see Pedro back there. Antonio, 210701. Welcome to the faction. Let's see who else we got here. We've got the Fang. So, welcome to the Fang. Welcome to the faction. Thank you for supporting my us at the Knights Hospital. Oh, your belly button showing. Oh, my goodness. We can't be having that on TV. Yes. Your belly button. Oh, how scandalous. I pooped again. You, I just changed you. You couldn't have pooped again. Yeah. Well, you're going to have to wait now. You're stuck. Uh, Zian Sheng, 18. Welcome yeah. to the faction as well. Uh, Lee Lord, who did I have? Oh, yes, that's right. I, I uh, Jams. Okay, we'll get a piece of candy. Jams was uh, Liege Lord to Bailasar, but uh, since Megan can supply me with uh, a bunch of troops and stuff like this necessary uh, for some defense and, and anti-scouting reports, I guess I should say. So um, Jams didn't have any troops in my village, so I just switched over to Megan. Since it's, it's, always, it's always recommended that you have Liege Lords from your faction or house as well. To avoid issues in case wars crop up, such as exactly happened to me over the past and, and the course of the past couple of months. No, you get the candy. I'll get the candy in a minute. So yes, here we go. Uh, Megan was interdicting me because uh, one of the uh, or a couple of the uh, here we go. Mad Max, Yominoko, um, Camper Mama, I think was another rogue uh, started uh, giving us a little bit of trouble here. So. Uh, she interdicted me while, of course, I was not on line. And I don't know if this is uh, this is Yeoman's Castle that was here in Lapu Lapu uh, that now Megan has captured. So as you can see, uh, no more. Oh, we need that. We definitely need some of that. So let's send him down. You actually don't. You're the only one that really needs it, but uh, we can do this. As you can see, all of us uh, here now, Knights Hospital, we're in Lapu Lapu. Uh, no other charters to snag up now, so we're good. So now I don't even have to worry about leveling up as fast to grab another charter. I can do it at my leisure. Uh, grab another village, so we can wait, to, wait for a more opportune time when it makes a little bit more sense to do it. Right now, just uh, hanging in there with my three villages and, of course, four worlds is enough to handle right now. Uh, ba -ba -ba, what did I want to do? I wanted to trade you some iron. Send. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye. So, yeah. faction relationship yeah, change I, is an I, enemy in the League of Extraordinary I, Gentlemen. Uh, let me go over there. So, Damage Incorporated, our allies, of course, so we've got uh, some uh, rogues here. These are more or less rogues, I think, and uh, I think some of these are still leftovers from uh, when the faction was in House 11 under different leadership. But here, yes, Yomonoko. Right now, he's been reset, so we don't have to necessarily worry about him. Yeah, the rest of these I'm not sure about, so I don't recall. I think House 4 was one of the ones we had, we were just watching. I think that's what it was. 
Dad, so confusing Dad, now. There's so many different worlds. I don't remember why somebody's on a a particular Daddy. list or not. Daddy. Okay, stop. You got to you got to settle down so I can get this done. I've got a lot to do on both these worlds here. Need goods. Um, hey, BJ. Hey, Tasmanian. Um, yes. As a matter of fact, probably. No. Stop, stop now, stop. Yeah. You will go in your chair. I will put you in your chair and you can scream and cry all you want about it. Um, Taz, uh, probably right now the, the most needed good I need is actually here in Barthios. Uh, da, 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 where are we? Iron. Probably iron for the most part at the moment. Um, so I can actually get some, get some, you know, my killing pits build up and... Make sure I inch. I look at puppy. Yes, you're going in your high I'm chair. I I let you get away with this. No, I let you get away with this through my half my extra life broadcast. No, you're not going to behave because you didn't behave last time. You didn't behave last time. You did not behave. I gave you several chances during extra life. And you didn't behave. You lied to me. You didn't behave when you said you were going to behave and you didn't behave. This is what happened. You get a timeout when you don't behave, correct? So you're going to sit there for five minutes and then... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Taz, as I was saying, um, yeah, Iron, iron and Barthios, I think. That, or, and if you got honor goods to spare too. Um, as you can see, we could probably use a few honor goods as well to just to um, upgrade some. Um, I don't even think we have anything to upgrade left that requires honor goods, do we? Yeah, but honor, honor goods, we you know, in case we do need them at some point. Uh, yeah, but right here in Barthios is probably the most needed uh, resource I need at the moment. But yes, here we go, Megan, uh, it's Megan, uh, yeah, Yomonoko came off of, uh, vacation mode, so, uh, Megan capped him real quick, she took care of Mad Maddox, and, uh, for, oh, our house of proclamation, hey, there's Taz's house proclamation, so, got the info, so here we go, here's the info that house 11, house 17 are no longer at war, um, but again, we do have our rogues, um, as we do on all our worlds, causing some issues back there. Don't necessarily want everybody on the Discord. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty good there. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, we are good with it. Stop, stop. No, 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 no. No, because you're misbehaving. You're misbehaving. But yeah, otherwise we are uh, we are absolutely good there. So I'll, I'll edit out the that one one little brief glimpse there of the proclamation. But uh, yeah, just iron. Uh, we're going there. So good. So let's uh, go through some more of these reports. Uh, yes, Mad Maddox attacked us. Doing a little bit of a gold raid to see what we got. Of course, we're keeping gold low in our parish, so we don't have to worry about that. No, you're misbehaving. You're misbehaving. Well, then you need to behave. You need to stop touching the keyboard. Okay, so a quick little gold raid there that really didn't amount to much after that. Uh, oh, goods uh, being sent from a uh, shuttle, thank you very much, as well as tribal, well, excellent, thank you very much as well. Uh, yes, our friends Damage Incorporated. Do, 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 do. Attacking the wolf there, which I believe we saw. We saw those. Yeah, anything over 10 days we watched. 
So enemy troops advancing in large numbers. Yes, they're gone now. Enemy was vanquished in. Enemy has, I think, re-arrived, hasn't it? Yes, re-arrived, and they're already almost gone as well. So good, so we can get rid of those. Uh, the pig attack. Ah, here we go. Something from uh, Taz himself. Let's see the pig attacking. Let's take a look, yeah. Yeah, that's a nice layout there. Nice big old pillage. <laughs> Just all the archers there focusing on the tunnelers. Bada bung, bada boom. All right, so thank you for that, Taz. Very good defense there. Let's see, so we did attack Wolfler here. So the Wolflers are getting a bit bigger here. So we got caught there, so there wasn't too much to do about that. As they eat through our archers. Oh my god, with his bloody song is gonna keep popping. So John or John or sent me uh him attacking we're nice. That's a nice bit of honor there. So let's take a look at this. Uh, oh oh uh, yeah, one of the, I've seen one of these before. Friggin' interesting design there for certain. That's a gun awful lot of red there. getting these archers going. Of course, the pikemen are body blocked. So the archers are going to stop and shoot at everything that gets into their aggro range. So that's the drawback there. So there's nothing left of the castle but the keep, which can't be destroyed.
One last archer left, and that's it. Now, of course, the archers will continue to march in until victory. So thank you, Jonah, for sending that. Uh, let's see, a couple more wolf flares. There's a real big guy there. do this to make things a little bit more safer. There we go. 16k iron will come to your villa when my traders are home. Okay, thank you. Much appreciated. Probably all tad is much appreciated. Getting tired, aren't you? Even though you had a nap? No? A piece of candy. piece of candy when I'm done and you behave. You have candy, okay? Okay, you can get down. So much appreciated, though. Get me well underway here. I don't think I, I repaired this morning that way. I don't have to deal with that. Uh, can I delete anything yet? Uh, did she max that out yet? Not yet. All right. It's under two hours before I can delete one of our next max out buildings here. So we're good. So I, I don't know. I guess maybe at some point I will throw this down. Church are already maxed out. All right, enough is enough. I'm wasting time because I do got to get to USA 2 tonight. I definitely cannot ignore USA 2 again. So we saw Megan attacking the wolf. Uh, more wolf layers. See if we get a real big one here. Not too different from most of these here. And just sneak in there. So that definitely helped a bit there. So that was nice. So we do, let's see, we got quite a bit here. Uh, Megan capturing uh, Yonoko. We already uh, went over that. Probe launches, we attacked another wolf layer, relatively small here. That why, oh yeah, because there's just the, just that orientation there. Or she now with our pikemen uh, health maxed out, that helps helps them survive a little bit longer now. Uh, so troops advancing in large numbers. Stash is foraged. So we don't need this. So one, two, so only three attacks from the siege camp. Four attacks. Well, four attacks by the time the final one launches. It's a very quick siege camp there. So bandit camp. I did want to see this because I uh, just sent everything I had out against it. From the parish. Okay, give me a minute. And I'll get you down. Okay. I will. I didn't direct the, uh, yeah, I forgot to direct the, um, uh, the catapults again on that one, but, eh, you know, minor stuff, didn't even really need catapults, but, so another relatively small, nothing too fancy about these little flares, let's see what this one was, we just hit, ooh, that's a, ooh, that was a big boy. Got blocked, dang it. And we make it in there. So we wiped out 279 wolves at least for that one. Well, so a few of our archers will have to, or pikemen will have to recover them. So, right, so what we got left? We just got uh, Megan attacking Camper Mama here. So let's see her capping uh, Yomonoko here. 
So yeah, there was no nothing defended. Those guys. Oh, they ran back in. <laughs> Oh, he stopped the captain. Are you kidding me? But they all survived anyway. That was close. That captain was about to die. But she had sent five, so only one needs to survive. So that's not much of an issue. So there's one down there. Where'd she have you? So there's one there. Usually I like to keep one all the way in the back there to hopefully ensure survival. But that's the capture of that castle there. See what she did here was raise Katka's village. And I think he was the one in uh I think Katgo was up here. And my hey 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 Get in there, fellas. All right, there we go. The knot's been raised. Excellent. So let me check these out here. Uh, just to see if I need to you know, view all of them. The defender wins there. So apparently this was an attack to raise, I think, here. The 58 RS. Is this the same village or are they all different? Oh yeah, okay, so these... Alright, she's pillaging there. Mm, so I might want to save these for next week then. Show these next week, that way I can get into USA 2 here. Hey, it's already been half an hour, oh boy. So I think I'll do that. So we um, saw this, so I'll just try to keep my reports as clear as possible here. We've got one video, so if I ever need to review it, I'll just review the video. There we go. Alright, so we will save these for uh, next week. Um, let me switch on over to USA 2 here real quick. And then... Uh, We'll call it an afternoon, eh? So uh, hang tight, everyone. I shall be right back. In the meantime, thank you for watching this episode of Island Warfare Day 397. I know I uh, almost forgot to do here before I do go, and that's get the troops back. There we go. All right, we're good to vote. We're good to vote, good. We got Megan a second, perfect. All right, we're good to go. All right, now we'll be back. Uh, when we're back, we'll be in USA too.